Cam Chancellor of the Seattle Seahawks posted a long message uh, on Twitter. Uh, it began with, I always prayed to God and told myself that I would play this game of football until the wheels fell off. Well, the wheels didn't fall off, but God has given me a sign that I just can't ignore. It goes on to say that all the injuries uh, that he has sustained, uh, doctors told me uh, that he just he couldn't go on anymore. Stiffness in his neck. The images that I saw had me at the lowest points and that uh, he's choosing to walk away. Didn't ever use the word retirement. He did close with pray for your boy. I have no clue how these head injuries will go after oh, the game. Word. Uh, peace and love. Never actually used the word retirement. Said he was walking away, to which uh, Ian Rappaport noted that Cam Chancellor isn't officially retiring. He just was not cleared medically to play again. Big difference. That means $6.2 million this year, $5.2 million next year, guaranteed from Seattle. Had he, had he fl uh, flat out retired, obviously would not huh. be getting any of that money. As we know, Cam wanted his money yes. for this exact reason. Exactly. Because he knows that his football born on date was closing to the end because of the way he played. I mean, he was just a bad man. Well, as you know, Howie Long who was on our one of our first ever Super Bowl shows think, at our first ever Super in Bowl in Arizona yeah. in Arizona prior to the Seahawks taking on the Patriots called Cam Chancellor a card carrying bad man that he would come downhill and hit you just a huge large safety that you had to account for him next to Earl Thomas with Richard Sherman outside locking things down that's the three the three most famous people from the Legion of Boom he was the boom in the Legion of Boom. Yes, he was. And obviously that's racking up a, a lot of the mileage. And he was the last guy, I do believe, to take a holdout into the season two years ago. And the Seahawks lost a couple of games without him. And then he came in from the cold. And, and I think the following year got paid this money that he's not leaving on the table. Doesn't look and like it. And you can't yeah. blame him. That's his prerogative in the same way that the league will tell you, well, you've got too much time left on your contract. We don't do a, we don't we don't redo contracts with as much time as you have left on it. We'll redo it with one year left, not two years left, even though there's no rule that says that. That's just the unwritten rule that's broken only for quarterbacks in the same also line that's drawn right now with Le'Veon Bell with the Steelers saying, well, we don't pay that type of money to running backs, even though you catch more passes than most wide receivers. That's, again, not a rule that's written in a book. That's just an unwritten rule. Hey, if Cam Chancellor's entitled to this money and he could play it this way and get the money that he thought he should have gotten two years ago, Good to, for him. To salute, as they him. say in uh, The Godfather. Absolutely. You think uh, Cam Hall of Fame? I don't know about that. Okay. I don't know. I think Earl and Richard are, are more, I mean, safeties are just uh, safeties are an, a tough odd, one. an odd Hall of Fame bird. Got the first one in a while coming up this year with Brian Dawkins. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.